poly paint to texture. How do I get back to texture mode? Well, here, once I get this perfect, once I get it to the point where I like it, I can hit bake all. Make sure you're on the highest quality that possible when before you do this. And then I'm going to say new texture first. And this is just a safe way of saying, okay, new texture doesn't overwrite the other one. And I'm going to say new from polypaint. Now I have that texture. And again, this allows me to port over to any program. So this is what that texture looks like, and if I wa wanted it to look just like this, just like this, I would have to do some trickery because I would also need a normal map and a displacement map. Okay, I didn't show you displacement before. Well, I'll show it now just, just for the fact that it's pretty interesting, and I'll go into it more later. Just adaptive, make sure your thing's on the lowest level and you can create displacement map. And for normal map, it's the same. Um, I'm just going to regenerate this because I don't know if it's the same structure. I don't think I've added anything new for this. Uh, take off smooth UV, though. If you're going to smooth UV, you got to smooth UV all the way up. Okay, so what happens now if I go to port? Nothing really technically changes. Just under high quality, you get the same I had before. Um, also, here I have the ability to use mental ray with a, a greater quality close it out and just by default render with the production quality on there I should be able to get pretty good results from Maya to ZBrush minus the specularity problem So all the displacement map did is it changed the contour. See? Here, the contour does not have any bumps. Here it has bumps. So that's a displacement map. And displacement mapping um, transverses into video games. Sometimes they're called parallax mapping. Uh, it, it certainly doesn't do the same thing it's doing here in Maya so what we do is we try to make it look amazing under high quality settings and if it looks good under high quality settings it's gonna look good in the game engine half the time I said half the time as a disclaimer <laughs> so if you can look at make it look good here it'll look good in the game when you're going in, into illustration work that's when you have to worry about displacement mapping here in Maya Okay. So I'm showing you all kinds of stuff as far as, you know, who worries about what. The illustrator worries about displacement mapping. The game artist worries about parallax mapping, but that happens in game, uh, and the map looks a little different. Same kind of concept, though. Uh, and then the game designer worries more about getting it to look good here as a high-quality setting. And then the illustrator that doesn't work with Maya at all worries about only getting to look good here and they have no understanding of UVs so they use poly paint not texture okay does that make sense so I'm trying to transverse your worlds a little bit to different job sects all right and that is in a nutshell moving um, all your layer information back to a texture so you can use it in other programs. Alright, so on to the next video.